This week's topics following my GTLN weekly update and news videos that I upload every Thursday evening. The main topic that I'll definitely talk about today, claimable salvage our vehicles becoming more disappointing as of this week. On future uploads, I'll also discuss Rockstar scheduling one-to-one -one discussions with players about their online experiences and Rockstar updating the PC anti-cheat this week. And so on today's topic, I will be definitely talking about details and my opinion on how I believe the claimable salvage yard vehicles become more disappointing as of this week. Two other quick points I'd like to mention before I get into the main topic. First of all, I have reached out to the community asking through a post how they would like to see content like this, my rants or rambles videos, if I should put all these topics into one video or separate them into separate videos and upload them all one day or upload them once every day after my weekly update video in which finally at some point it still remains the same i still have a majority going for one topic of video uploaded once a day so we're going to remain to that as well as that we also now can claim the obey 8 of drafter for free this week up until april 3rd and that's for those who have claimed eligibility who were eligible to claim eligibility last till the last two weeks up until march 18th now the moment you've been waiting for, let's get right into the topic. Now after making a video similar to this last week talking about its own discussions that I've had about how Rockstar finally made claimable vehicles sort of claimable but they choose for you and I would like to back up some facts based on what I've said coming up very shortly but in the end all this video will be talking about is how Rockstar makes claimable salvage art vehicles even more disappointing this week. And yes, better late than never, it is now available to be purchased for free for those who are eligible up from March 21st until April 3rd. Now for those who are new to my rant videos that I make like once a week or like three times a week depending on the topic, last week I've spoken about how Rockstar has finally made a vehicle eligible for being claimed. And now here's the deal. For those who are new to videos like these, I would like to show you what I am backing my proof on based on what was stated by Rockstar themselves. Now you listen. Girls. Once you have Ladies. a car, you ship it to me. Uh, friends. I will pay you a very fair price. Very fair. Or you can break it down into parts for some quick cash or keep it for yourself. Timestamp will be saved in the description of this video from my video that I've just shown you that I've recorded. Anyways, so... As Rockstar has stated through their cinematic when you first purchase and enter the salvage yard, he states that first of all, through um, through cinematic subtitles that I'm pretty sure these voice lines were worked on through Rockstar's, let's say, approval and was finally released for the game, probably at the last moment, but still, they have stated that with these three vehicles, you can choose to sell it directly to Yusuf, paid at a very fair price, or break it down to parts to make some cash, or you can keep the person, uh, the vehicle, the salvager vehicle, for yourself. Now, I'd like to mind you, many people already out there are anticipating for the release of GTA 6, so whatever happens with the remainder of GTA Online's live ability, the best thing that could happen if it was free for the players to ever choose is that we can choose any one of three vehicles because in the end we have a rotating assortment of three different vehicles so why not make one of the vehicles that you can sell directly to yourself one of the other vehicles that you can break down for parts or one of the other ones you can keep for yourself instead after finally waiting for three months last week rockstar has made the fister comet s2 cabrio being eligible for claimability after robbing it and it comes complete with a los venturas plate a rare los venturas plate mind you which is by the way bugged on pc and requires a patch ascp by rockstar where if you tried to edit the license plate to something else you cannot revert it back to its original condition so here we have three vehicles where one of them Rockstar states that's the only one you can claim. And now as of this week, we have a three new rotated assortments of vehicles and none of them can be claimed. And now I'd like to back myself up based on the fact that first of all, it's already the game is already out for 10 plus years and making vehicles finally eligible for being able to be claimed at your own personal expense of $10,000 if you have the forgery document office or 20k. I mean, 
How hard is it to get 20k? If you got your salvage yard and you've finally stolen the vehicle from whoever you're stealing it from, how hard is it to make $20,000? It's really nothing compared to, comparing it to when you can do VIP work that makes you 22,000 or even sourcing one CEO crate that makes you like 10,000 each crate or 20,000 whatever. It's and you can do some adversary mode get yourself 20,000 making that kind of money is so easy. So why is it such a problem to have to spend $20,000 just to claim a vehicle that's either worth 2 million, 1.5 mil, 3.5 mil? For a game that's already out for 10 plus years in which Rockstar continues to backstab their players ensuring that they still support their own microtransaction policy. Rockstar, the game is dying and you're still killing the player base with choices that you keep making to this very day and now what I assume is going to happen, based on what others have speculated, is that they're going to release one vehicle a month that you can claim eligible for personal vehicle. It's like one YouTuber has stated on one YouTuber has stated on his thumbnail of a video where Rockstar overpromises but then underdelivers. And of course, knowing that GTA Online is already becoming more of a dead game since most players are now anticipated for the release of GTA 6, which is, by the way, anticipated to be delayed until 2026 from popular posts and common whatever that's going on. So to still keep up with updates that's giving strong promises, such as you're able to claim a vehicle for yourself at will if you wish, only for it to only happen finally once after three months of that promise being made through the cinematic, only for it to happen only just that one time, because the next week you can't claim any of the newer vehicles. It's quite a shame that Rockstar does that, and I only personally believe that it has something to do with the common popularity popular belief of Rockstar still trying to milk money out of this game. Because imagine, because imagine, just think about it, hear me out. If you don't believe why I'm saying this, I'm going to tell you right now, just think about it. A car that's worth, let's say, $2.4 million. How much grinding do you have to do if, for players who are still willing to grind in this game, how much grinding do you have to do to make that much money just to buy the car in stock condition without any upgrades, customizations, or paint jobs? Compared to how you can steal, can you can steal a vehicle and only claim it for twenty thousand or ten thousand dollars if you have the forgery office? The ten thousand dollars. It means nothing to players. They can literally do a VIP work, as I said, and they can make double the money and still make some profit on the side just to be able to claim this vehicle for free if they must. But again, that's $20,000 that a player spends at free will compared to a $2 million plus dollar vehicle that it's either grind the game or buy our shark cards. You really want the vehicle so badly that's not available anymore? Buy our shark cards. You really want to keep this vehicle that we anticipated we thought we could keep, but then Rockstar had broken promises, as usual? Now we have to wait for these vehicles to be available in some other location, because now we realize, oh crap, Rockstar wasn't as honest as we thought they would be for a dead game that shouldn't matter that much to them, rather. But hey, whatever Rockstar does nowadays, they think to themselves, ah, the players are stupid enough, they're anyways going to pay their microtransactions for what they want out of our content, right guys? Or maybe it has something to do with conflict of interest, like how much microtransactions they've made last week, where they finally made a vehicle claimable, but then they realized, oh yeah, true, now that we've released an idea like this, we realize we are not getting as much microtransactions because players are finally claiming personal vehicles, probably selling if they have to, and LS Customs, or if it's even possible to make a million dollars from selling a vehicle like that. Whatever the case may be, Rockstar is just looking at it like, oh, we're not making our full potential money anymore. So now let's try to cut the idea for now and think of a new way that we can fuck the players. Again, I would like to very much clarify, Rockstar definitely is under-promising for the players. They are giving high promises, yes, but they're under-delivering. It's already a game that's 10 plus years old. We're already anticipated for the release of GTA 6 in the next two years. 
We're waiting for that. What much more grinding could we enjoy? Sure, you're releasing new content here and there, and finally giving us the hope that, you know what, maybe Rocks are starting to care about their player base. But in the end, they still have that little monster in the back of their heads that's screaming, We need money! Give us money! So then the freaking guy in the back of H was like, Yeah, shit, that's not a good idea for us. We don't care about what the players think. We need to make our microtransactions. Yeah, what the frick, Rockstar? It's a dead game, just give us already, just give us what you told us, just freaking make a thing. I literally said, just make it like once a week, because anyways, we only have an assortment of three vehicles per week. Make it be like one of the vehicles you can sell to yourself, the other one you can break down for parts, and the third one you can keep personally. But of course, at a cost of being able to sell it in LSC, labeled under the salvage yard vehicles being like oh yeah you can only sell for up to twenty thousand dollars if you must but it seems as though rockstar just cares more about the money and money profits and their money and microtransaction priorities over the fun for the players and therefore would screw the players and misinform them mislead them and lie to them just so that they can ensure that ah whatever they're stupid enough they're gonna buy our microtransactions regardless that's all I really want to rant in this video. It's really just like a short topic. I could have probably made it shorter, but still, I just wanted to express my deep condolences for all these players who felt like they were lied to. I am so sorry that Rockstar did that to you guys. But honestly, it's a dead game. Why would they Why would they still continue to screw the players in a game that's literally we're waiting for GTA 6 at this point? Why? Why would they continue doing that? I don't, I don't understand. Why, why would you rockstar? I'm so sorry for all the victims involved, but uh, that's all I really want to rant about this video. If you guys enjoyed what I've, if you guys understood what I'm saying, thank you. If you guys enjoyed this video, wish to stay tuned for other news topics that I'm going to bring up in different separate videos, go right ahead as well, feel free. But uh, yeah, for rockstar to do that to their players and continue to do that to their players, like this game was just released yesterday. And like they're just released it after spending millions of dollars on it, feeling like they're bankrupt and they still need to make money off of it. The cow is already as drier than the Sahara Desert Rockstar, and you're still trying to find ways to milk it. We're waiting for GTA 6 already! And you're still milking it by lying to us with this shit! It just. It's Grand Theft Auto! Just give us the vehicles that we want already! Just do something that lets us take the vehicles for free if we must. Like, please, Rockstar! Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, that's all I want to say before I continue another like three years of going on a rampant rampage of just ranting how Rockstar continues to screw their player base once again and beyond. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Anyways, sources from the what I've shown you in this video I'll put in the description. And if you want to check out my Twitch, I'm going to send my Twitch link as well in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you later. And uh, yeah, goodbye.